Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Storytale Cakes. I'm super excited for this episode because I'm going to be showing you how to make a fidget spinner cake that spins. So without further ado, shall we get started? Okay, so for the first step, what you'll be needing is a thick wooden piece that is about three millimeters in thickness. And then you just need to find a picture of a fidget spinner online and enlarge it to your liking. And just trace it around the cardboard um, piece there and using a sharp saw cut around it. Once it's been cut out, make sure you use a bit of sandpaper just to sand out the edges of it. Otherwise you'll get like, you know, those little wooden specks and you don't want that to go in your food. So just make sure it's really clean before um, you use it up for your cake. To also make it food grade, I like to cover it with a bit of food grade contact paper. If you don't have contact paper, that's fine. You can just use a cardboard piece of paper that's um, food grade as well and just hot glue on it so it sticks onto the template. So here I have two 11 inch cakes and I'm just going to use that template that I had originally enlarged to cut around the cake. To make the cake board steel, place a small ball of fondant in between the turntable and the cake board. Apply a bit of that chocolate goodness onto the cake board, place your cakes over and frost it with some delicious buttercream. So this layer is a crumb coat layer in which you just need to put all over the cake just to capture all the crumbs. Pop it in the fridge to chill for 15 minutes. Time to do our final coat. I'm just using a cake scraper to help smooth out the final chocolate coat and a hot spatula to seal up the chocolate. I used a spatula to help lift the cake off and placed it on a small 6 inch cake board to help elevate and stop it from sticking to the table. Before I get to the exciting rainbow part, I'm just going to clean my cake edges up. Time for the marble rainbow fondant. I just love rainbow so much, it makes me feel so joyous. Okay, so what I'm going to do is roll out 150 grams of each fondant colour, twist them together, roll and then retwist it again for a more marble effect. Now I'm going to roll the fondant out to a 3mm thickness and a handy tip is to pinch the fondant colour together so there's no gaps and then roll again. I also find it handy to lift the fondant from time to time off the table so it doesn't stick to the table. Look at all the colours, this is probably my favourite part, it's just wow, I just love seeing colour. Now I'm just going to place the fondant over the cake. An important part of covering fondant cakes is to seal the edges first because the weight of the fondant will tear the edges so you want to work from top to bottom. Use your hands in a circular motion, kind of like you're giving a belly rub, just to smooth the fondant into the cake. So when you cut the fondant, cut it about 2mm away from the cake board so you can smooth the excess below the board. I have here a 7cm circle cutter and also a 5cm circle cutter. I'm just going to roll out some black fondant and cut out the circles for my fidget spinner so it will be 3 circles. I've marked the places I want my circle pieces to be and applied a bit of water to help attach. I also used a smaller circle to help round it. Okay, here's an optional step. Apply a bit of water around the rims of your circle and add silver beads to the rims of it. This will just help give it a more Funko effect. Oh, no! Wait, hang on. Oh, that is so satisfying. 
Now I'm just going to roll out the excess fondant piece I had from the cake, cut out a 7cm circle and apply it on top of the cake. So what you'll need to make your fidget spinner spin is some mounting tape, just like that. It's double sided by the way. And Susan Bearing? <laughs> Bearing, no, Susan Bearing, yeah. Sorry, just yeah, Susan Bearing, that's what you would need. What a weird name, seriously, but oh well, does it strong. I'm just going to get my cake board. Make sure the board is obviously bigger than your fidget spinner cake. I'm just gonna cut it out. This tape is bomb. Just gonna cut this in half. Now you do need quite a sturdy double-sided tape. That's why I use some mounting tape. Okay. Don't you just love it when you see like the piece go out of the double-sided tape? <laughs> it's not coming out of me! <laughs> oh my gosh. Seriously? 3.28 a.m. 2,000 years later. One eternity later. Finally, the last piece. So now I'm just gonna stick it in the center. Probably a good idea to measure it, but I'm just gonna kind of eye it. Ooh, there we go. Oh, feels like it's its own fidget spinner, check it out. So now I've just added double-sided tape on top and I'm just gonna peel away the stickers. hours later. Clearly I'm a fan of peeling stickers so I'm just gonna place the cake on top of the board and use a fondant smoother to smooth out the bottom edges. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Please share your fidget spinners with me. I'd love to see. Happy baking and subscribe to Storytale Cakes for more fun tutorials.